Detect combat initiated. I must end your existence. Gone. Hmm. I am equipped with the most advanced institute sensors available. I will find you. You cannot escape detection for long.
by all of Gotta be something of value on him. Hmm. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. Is someone present? <laughs> Engaging. I'm trying to play for <laughs>
Okay. What the hell is a building that nice doing in a rundown city like this? Movement detected. Curious. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Is someone present? Why are you hiding? What is this place? This is Cabot House, like it says on the sign. And if you don't know what that is, you're in the wrong place. You should leave before you get yourself in trouble. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Hello? Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to... He'll be right with us. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. 
Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here, since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least, not on this planet. Uh, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? You're implying there was a lost alien civilization on Earth in prehistoric times? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. That was... interesting. Huh. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you, it's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. Why does Jack have people guarding an old, insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Are we good here? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Anything else? What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You all set then? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. Hey there. Yes? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. You have proof? Enough to satisfy me. <laughs> he only made a single expedition to the Lost City, but he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings, millennia older than the earliest human civilizations, but with technology that 
seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries, tools not made for human hands, carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking, and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's. He became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Are we done? Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Any more questions? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the whole world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. How is that possible? The war was 200 years ago. One of the effects of my father's <coughs> illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. Are we done? I've got to get going. All right. Oh, it's you. Oh, Bunker Hill. I heard you can get anything from these fellas. Time to start looking for... We could hold out pretty well in a spot like this.
Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it.
let me know if you find some spare ammo. Valentine. Nick, listen, I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset. But you need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believed in it. I still believe in it. It kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon. And they laid it all out. The whole thing. We just deal with the DA, his agreement to bring down the other families. His idea to record the holotape and discriminate all known associates. And them needing a legitimate op and a real task force to make it all look like Winter was the focus. It was a plan all along. There's nothing we can do. Winter was a story for the feds. He reported directly to the BAD TFL. All on the books.
something's ghost in us. How to show a girl a good time. Like someone had a bad day. Where'd that little bitch go? Someone drive a bulldozer through here. Winter's End was my baby. I believe I still believe in it. They kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon. They laid it all out. The whole thing. Winter's deal with the DA, his agreement to bring down the other families, his idea to record the holotapes and incriminate all known associates, and them needing a legitimate op and a real task force to make it all look like Winter was the focus. It was the plan all along, Nick. There's nothing we can do. Winter was a stoolie for the feds. He reported directly to the BAD TFL, all on the books. For his cooperation, Winter will be granted total immunity. It's over. Effective immediately, Operation Winter's End is to cease all investigations and operations. The task force is hereby disbanded. We played our part, pal. Not the part we thought, but hey, it happened. Now we're just another box in the file room. Nick, listen to me. Everything that's happened with Winter, with Jenny, more than any one man should have to handle. You need help. Boston PD is working with the eggheads at CIT. Some new program they have to deal with trauma. Scanning brainwaves or something. 
I'll get you the info. You're going. That's an order.